sunrise. It was really stunning yesterday morning. I missed, uh, I was here yesterday morning, could have gone. This morning I missed and had a bad night's sleep. But I'm tired, I'm not going out now. Try and get out tomorrow. It's, I think, Tuesday morning. Hey, you sick of seeing me look so beautiful now? <laughs> oh dear. I actually bought my tinted moisturiser that I haven't even worn. I've just been putting the um, moisturiser. This is some protection in it. That's it. Brush my hair. No, I didn't even brush my hair. I just pulled it back. <laughs> I do do my teeth and deodorise. <laughs> That's about it for the beauty regime here. So it's a bit of a funny day out there today. It's sort of a bit of blue sky up there. It's still warm though. But it's supposed to be um, high 20s today. Can't see it, but I guess if that um, cloud cover lifts, it might be. So I love these trees at the back. I might to go and have a look at the motor on. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> same plans as always, which isn't much. Um, what are we doing today? I think there's something off the girls this afternoon, some sort of crafty thing. What is it? I can't think what it is now. Anyway, some crafty thing on this afternoon. We're going to crowd into the. I'm thinking maybe after breakfast, we might go for a walk out on the rocks or along the headland. Do you want to go for a walk on the headland after breakfast? Mm. Alright, well, I'll go by myself, I guess then. Breakfast time. I've never done so much cooking on holidays before, so I guess even though we're having our treats in between meals, at least we're eating healthy meals. We've got baked beans, as you can see, scrambled eggs and mushrooms, and I'm having a Milo. I'll have a tea later on. And the sun's coming out, it's getting a bit brighter out there. I love this tree. Isn't it gorgeous? We had a lot of activities during the school holiday today, so they've got plaster painting. I think Chris is going to come up and do that. I'm going to go this way, I think. It seems so weird going for a walk without the dogs. It seems so strange. And look. My blue jog was on again today. Well, this is not a good look. Shorts and the compression stopping are not a good look. But, that is what it is. So these are obviously the prime cabins to have. These are right across from the beach. One day I'd like to come and stay there, it'd be pretty cruel. C cruel. Cool. Hopefully you can hear me today, it's not, not so windy like it was the other day. I had to play a lot of music on the video from our first day here because it was windy. Okay, this here is a spot where we used to have, we've had um, every other time. I think there's been somewhere here one or two nights the whole time we've been here, which is annoying that we couldn't get it. <sighs> Mind you, with this set up here, it would have been hard for Dad to get the van in. Because um, they're sort of well out of their spot, I think. Oh no, they're just in there, I can see the two markers, so they're in their spot. Anyway, anyway we couldn't get it. It's a shame, but look, this is the... Uh, the view I used to have in the morning out of the front window, much nicer than what we've got now. And it was a bit more social because people were sort of coming past and stuff. But they chopped down the big tree that used to be there. I love the big tree. Anyway, that was our old site. I don't think I ever realised these were actually camping spots what? with power. They used to have power here. Huh? No, no, these all got power now. They would be nice spots, wouldn't they? But they broke up really early. Maybe next time we could try one of them. They've got power and they've got sewerage. Wow. Okay. Come again. <laughs> and try and get there. Wow. Okay, I'm thinking you won't hear me now. It's windy. Oh, so this is part of a claim of coast. Here. Now go to Jeringol. Well, I never knew that. Now you see here about looking at the caravan part. That was those spots just there that I said were really nice. This lagoon used to be much more of a lagoon when I was a when I was a kid. I can remember playing it. Everyone used to have boards and stuff in there, so it must have had a lot more water in it. This is going back 30 years now. All the kids used to bring their floats and we used to float around and play in there. So obviously it was a lot um, bigger. If the girls are with me, we'd um, walk around the rocks 
around there. But because I'm on my own, I'm going up the stairs and across the top. I don't want to slip and fall and hurt myself and have no one to rescue me. This is one of those trees they've chopped a lot of in the park. See the few flowers. They're lovely. I guess they'll grow back. The snake. Oh, a red belly black snake. That is the first snake I have ever seen in the wild, and I caught it on camera. So, aren't you guys lucky? They're really venomous snakes. So this is the paddock you go through. It's actually a... Well, there used to be cows here. Now I'm a bit worried about snakes, but... <laughs> Not really. You saw the snake, he went away. So a birdie chased him off. Look at these little birdies. Probably can't see them. Yeah, there's other cows. Before. You have to be careful where you tread. See, it's a well trodden path. As a kid, I always took the rocks, always went out on the rocks. I need to come back this way, but <laughs> I think I'm scared in my old age. Was it a lizard? They're fine, they're harmless. This little skink, we sometimes get them in the house. I mean, how gorgeous is this? Isn't this magnificent? Could be anywhere in the world. Half an hour from home. Can't see any cows though, I've seen the cows here. Maybe they've moved. Some place to whale watch um, in winter, here in the winter. So I think they've already gone back south now. Yeah, it's a big memory. I think I explained to you. I used to, oh, there's the cows over there. We used to spend like every Christmas holidays down here for like four weeks because my dad worked in Wollongong. We lived in Sydney at the time. There might be a swimming beach in there, but I'm not gonna venture that way today. May another day I'll bring some water and go for more of a walk. Looks like it goes and when they can work all the way to Jeringong, which is probably on the other side of this hill. Oh yeah, it's the big road. I've taken you up the road, yes, yeah, so okay. Around that hill maybe the next one. I think it is around that corner, yeah, Jeringong's just over the hill. It's about a two-hour walk apparently. Um, to walk from Kayama to Jeringong and it's a little bit rough going through paddocks and stuff but yeah one day well, I'll do that I probably need to be a bit fitter I like cows a lot of, lot of dairy cows around here but what a, in a beautiful area magic okay so I've got a little information thing on 
a walk so you can see exactly where it takes you. Well, I don't think with the Jerengong. You can see it starts in Kuya Mahapa. We'll probably, probably go to the blowhole sometime during the week. Well, that's the end of the walk. You're supposed to start at the other end, obviously. Yeah, and you come through, and I tried to photograph. I don't know if you can see this or not. I tried to photograph the other day because I come down that street and then around. I don't even know that beach because the main road goes up there. Okay, so you're going through like all Kayama suburbs. I've been to the little blowhole before. Around, then you go to East Beach, so you can see. And that's where I've sort of walked. So I've walked from kind of there. I walked actually out that way, and then along. And then I've walked along there, and we are here. So I says four hour, four hour return. Moderate class four. Take plenty of water and food. Keep dogs on these, that's all I want to come because I want to bring the puppies. But it'd be kind of good to have a car to meet you at the other end because I don't think we'd do, <laughs> do both ways. <laughs> That'd be a bit that much. So you can see this um, whole caravan. How cute is that? From 1936. <laughs> that's in Clam. My dad and I did mention another video when we went to Jerengong. Um, the beach at Jerengong is called Jeroa. And no, Jeroa, Jeroa's further south, sorry. Yeah. So my dad used to holiday at Jerengong when he was a kid. So, yeah. So we've um, got a lot of ties to this area of the world. Considering we lived in Sydney at the time, it's sort of closer now. Got a lot of ties to the area, a lot of memories. In fact, the only photo, I think, of me and my grandfather, and my dad's father, he died when I was three, and the only photo was taken down at, um, at Jerengong. Who's trying to climb across the rocks? Oh, look, there was spiky birds. They used to be my favourite bird when I was little. I used to go where I, where I grew up in Sydney. Don't really get them in Wollongong. I found a few around here though. Uh, so this is, the, sorry, hope you get dizzy then. So this is the sighting, <laughs> the place of the sighting of the black snake. We're just coming across from all this shrub here. Some pretty flowers. Yeah, so that is, yeah, pretty exciting. <laughs> First there were wild snake and to be red belly black snake at that. I'm glad it was off the path. I must say, I'm glad to be back on solid ground, that all that even ground was a bit hard on my arthritic feet. Every time I hear a rustle, I think I'm hearing a snake. Not that I even heard the snake. I just saw a bird going for it. Now, I know most of my American viewers are scared to death of Australian snakes, spiders, sharks, things that sting and bite. I'm 42 years old. That's the first snake I've ever seen in the wild. So, <laughs> I don't think I've seen one well, on a road once that we ran over. There was a brown snake, that was out in the countryside. Well, that's my first one that's sort of within virtually touching distance. So, <laughs> don't think you would touch that. So, and even spiders. You don't find them very often, you don't come across them. We get an odd, um, an odd um, red back. Not very many. We do we get the post spray again. <laughs> but they weren't cute, they just make you very sick. Um, and even when we lived in Sydney, we never had any final whips, so yeah, I think it's a bit uh, a bit over dramatic. You just don't come across them. Not certainly in suburbs anyway. So this is a little creek where the ducks hang out now being we can see my car. My car's just there. So yeah, for a long time we used to come and, we didn't have a permanent site here, we used to come and we used to stay here all the time. This is a pretty spot, I can't remember that, that before it went up onto a permanent spot. These are obviously permanents now though, but the other end's much nicer near the beach I think. No, it doesn't have ducks. The ducks are cute. And the bottle brush there. Not too sure about the plastic bag in the tree. That's not a good look for the tree. Yeah, I'm really hot now. I need a drink. Right, Christy's back from her plaster painting. And we should have guessed what she'd be painting. <laughs> it was a horse. The shoe was on the table. That was nice, huh? It's a good job. 
just making some quesadillas for lunch with what we've got on them. We've got some refried beans and a really great cheese and it's melting that and then, then we're going to top with some salsa and sour cream. I'm trying to use up what we had already opened in the fridge. That is my quesadilla all done. Looks yummy, doesn't it? And then I've to cut up just cut up some ugh, can't talk. And I've cut up some fruits, so I've just got a bowl of watermelon for Christy and Amy I have and some rock melon. That looks nice. It's very, very red um watermelon. Jealous of that murder home. Another murder home. It's only a tiny little one. They've got two kids as well. I guess they can sleep in it. Just having a green tea mandarin orange. It's really nice to have another donut. It's yummy. So I'm going to have that. I still haven't tried this one yet. I might try and try this one later on. This is recommended. I have had this book for, for a long time now since it first came out. Um, Rhonda's book Down to Earth is her blog and she writes a great book about simple living finally getting to sit and um, look at it, I had a flick through it when I first got it um, and it was so good I thought, sort of kept it to have a really proper look through it just, look at the pictures are gorgeous too and the one back here just stunning photos they were simply living in something interested in. I don't know how you can get this book overseas. Certainly it's available in Australia, I've been in bookshops. It's um, published by Penguin. But yeah, definitely try and have a look or check out Rhonda's blog. But you got all your bands and stuff on it. I've got three like. bands, three YouTube or pairings. Dan or Phil and or something. Yeah, so I love Dan is on a fire, MC Army. You're being ridiculous, which is Emily's URL. V1 I and Luke with sexy, which is Jason and Luke. Bring with the horizon, Daniel Butt, which is Xavier. Troiler, which is Troy and Tyler. Who's the okay, villain of the band? And the really Centaur and Alana. My viewers are that interested. I just wanted to. I'm just asking. Yeah, I'm doing a few. And then I have <laughs> my names. A thing I slash. And I've got Doctor Who on the side. Very good. Now, what have you done there? Um, I've got Minecraft on the handle. Um, which I can't, mm -hmm. I don't know why I did that. I got my two favourite YouTube, uh, two favourite YouTube Minecrafters. Yeah. Uh, I wrote love there because I was just bored. I got, it's in, my <laughs> My hat blew off because Chris had to go chase my hat when it happened. Yeah, went over there. So oh, I slid and my butt goes down. Another few seconds. I know it happened really fast. I don't know you would have got out from under that. Yeah, I know. Poor little boy right in his body. He was behind him too. So no, it's not. That was a big gun. Yeah, now I've got a wet walk. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I thought you chased my hat. Yeah, I was like, I can't do that now because I was exciting day, a black belly snake and a tree really falling hey, on top of us. Black belly snake? Oh, I saw black belly snake down my walk. <laughs> yeah, let's go back at the pool rather than the beach. I feel like I get a little bit of sun on me. Not too much each day. It's good late in the afternoon. Used to be happy now she's playing Marco Polo with some of the kids. Okay. Well, I'm playing games. Used to be happy. I'm sort of the warmth is gone from the sun. Just the wind was really weird. That's a destruction from the tree. There's a big bit that fell down. And they've even got cones up. They've got cones out to, I guess, in case any other bits fall down. That's what it looks alright though. Well, we came back and we'd had a bit of a. And said, what did you say about your tent? It was all what? Oh, bent in with bits. Bent in with but it pops back out again at least. Yeah, I can And this. Clever girl. <laughs> Oh, this um, flap here was um, loose, but um, I'm not there hammering away a pig and it just comes straight back out with a guy over there. He was nice enough to come to my rescue. 
and he put a big peggy and <laughs> fixed it for me. I hope the damsel in distress. Yes, the shiver is not dead, but I don't mind. <laughs> you know, some women don't like men doing things like that. No? No? I don't care. I'm quite happy for... They are not feminists. They are annoying. But some people are like that. Like, I would get, bit, you know, put out. Then they can do it, but I couldn't do it. <laughs> you probably haven't gone, I have no idea. I know. Anyway, I appreciate the help. <laughs> I put a big peg in, so that's not going to go anywhere now. But his, uh, his awning had collapsed and broken, so his annex. Anyway, what am I doing now? Christy's gone off for a shower, so I'm waiting for her to come back so I can have the my shower gel because she forgot to pack one. So. I guess I'll sit and relax again now that the peg situation is resolved. So it's time to play some Uno with some crazy hypo children. <laughs> I don't know what, I'm not a I'm not a children. It's still my hypo. It's still my child. I'm not a children. It's my cards. Well, Christy's certainly hypo enough. <laughs> I'm just don't know tired. what I'm in for. Sunset tonight. Look how nice the sky is. I've got my music at that time, not mine. No. Isn't that beautiful? Ooh, Happy party! Beautiful! Yes. I don't think it's difference, but two seconds later, so we've got orange. Oh, I assume it's a difference. Huh. We went inside and turned around, and the colour had changed. We haven't had any nice sunsets, but you should get them down here. Oh, even more impressive. Okay, tonight's dinner is um, corn in a honey soy stir fry sauce. And um, I haven't got quite many vegetables as we would normally have, but that's okay. Because I'm only going to feed Amy and I. So, yeah, it's pretty ready now. Okay, so dinner's all served up. Now enjoy that. It smells good.